friend from Ohio. I would uh, thank the chairman for yielding and uh, commend uh, Representative uh, Kelly for offering this uh, important effort and highlighting the importance of the Great Lakes. I feel that you may be the last speaker this evening. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. But we would say last but not least, especially for those of us who lakes. And uh, we love the attention because we most often don't get it. And uh, we had conversations today about oceans and about other parts of the country. And it's just so great to have someone with your commitment to the Great Lakes. We know it's the largest body of fresh water on the face of the earth. And that uh, commerce moving through the seaways, the shortest distance between the United States, uh, Europe, and ports, even on the western side of Africa, if you look at the way that the globe actually works. And so to have this kind of work by yourself, by the chairman of our uh, subcommittee, Mr. Simpson, by uh, Candace Miller, by uh, Congressman Visklowski, and so many others that work on Great Lakes issues, it's, uh, it's uh, wonderful to have this team put together and to see that we've done a better job for our Great Lakes uh, in this bill than in past bills. And uh, by the way, I might say that the lake on which uh, the communities I represent are situated, Lake Erie, is the most drawn upon of the lakes and the most fragile. And uh, therefore, and we share her with Canada, so it even gets a little more complex uh, as we move forward. But I just wanted to commend the gentleman. I thank the chairman for giving me the time. And I know the people who are listening from the Great Lakes region uh, greatly appreciate the attention and what we do in this bill to make sure that those lakes are maintained. Thank